For the bumblebee, in addition to the basic equipment shown at the beginning of this video, we also need some special products that we will use to create this particular piece. First of all, I will use some leaf gelatin. Leaf gelatin is used by pastry chefs, and this is what we will make the wings of the bumblebee from. The templates which are included with this video, I have just photocopied these onto some thin card, and we will use these to cut out the shapes out of the leaf gelatin. Confectioner's glaze is a glaze we will use to glaze the bumblebee. The paste colorings I will use is a lemon yellow. Any brand of lemon yellow can be used here. And then we are using an imported black. This is called licorice, and this is an excellent black for painting the stripes on the bumblebee. Finally, 28 gauge white wire and 26 gauge white wire are used for the creation in the bumblebee. The first step in making the bumblebee is to make the wings and make the legs in preparation for the next step, which will be the body. Here we have some sheet gelatin. As I explained, this is used by pastry chefs. Gelatin always will have this diamond pattern in the actual sheet gelatin. And we're going to cut out the wings. With the bumblebee, we're going to actually cut out the wings, so each wing will be cut out inside a diamond. Taking the pattern, I have taken the pattern that was included with your video and just photocopied onto some thin card. I will then place this onto the top of the gelatin and using my scissors I will cut around. Now remember gelatin is prone to warping if it gets moist so if your fingers are a little on the sticky side you will need to use a little cornstarch onto them to stop the gelatin becoming warped. Just cut around with your scissors and you will cut out two large wings, so two of the large wings which I have here. This will make the two pairs of large wings and then two smaller wings. So two large and two small. This is what you will need for one bumblebee. For the legs we will need three sets of legs. So the legs are made out of 28 gauge white wire. Taking the wire I will just fold this over to make almost like a U shape. And then taking a ruler I will cut the legs so they are about half an inch long. Taking the leg I will take my tweezers and a little like how I did on the monarch butterfly with the stamens except here I'm using a wire I will hold my tweezers so the inside edge of the tweezers is about halfway down the wire and I will bend the wire like this at a right angle this will make almost like the knee joint and then I will take the tweezers and I will bend the ends like this so this will actually make the little feet I'll show you this again. So go about halfway down the wire. We will bend this at a right angle. Then we will come down a little further and we'll bend the legs to make the little feet. So you will need to prepare two of large wings, two small wings, and three of the legs, which actually are a pair of legs. This will be ready for the next stage. When making the bumblebee, we're going to place this onto a wire. I'm going to use a 26 gauge white wire. You could also use a green wire if you're going to have the bumblebee in amongst foliage like gum paste leaves, for example. Taking the wire, the 26 gauge wire will make a small hook on the end of this. This is about a, about a third to an inch, to a half of an inch in length. And then we'll bend at a slight angle, so it is a little bit like a small golf club. So you have a small angle on the end. To make the body of the bumblebee, I will take a number six large ball of paste. You could also think of this as really like a small number seven. It actually goes through the number seven hole. This has been colored with lemon yellow, and any brand of lemon yellow could be used. Taking a little 
shortening, I will place this into the paste and we'll just massage this in. Remember the shortening is going to extend the working time you have with the paste. Take in a little cornstarch. I will then roll this into a nice smooth ball and we'll then make this into a small sausage. And this sausage is approximately about three quarters of an inch in length. For the bumblebee, I will first of all make his little head. To make the head, I will roll with a toothpick onto my finger. This will make almost like the little neck area. And I will then fold this around to make it a little bit like a jelly bean in shape. It's like a curve. And make a slight point on his little tail. So this would be like the little base part here. Taking the, the curve like a banana, so this is actually the underneath part of the curve, I will take the hook, this is a 26 gauge wire like a golf club, we'll dip this into some egg white and we'll then hook this into the body going in towards the neck. So the point of the golf club is actually in this neck area here. Just mold around the base to secure the wire. So this will be the first stage. We will then position the legs. Now the legs are in pairs so this makes them very easy to push in and we will push in a pair of legs into the front. Once we get the legs into position, I'm going to just use my tweezers just to push in on the underneath. You can also use a small modeling tool for this as well. And then we will place the other two legs towards the back. Remember, as you place each pair in, just smooth over where they join. So once the paste is set, this will hold them in position. And I will then have the final pair of legs. So as you can see here, we have the basics of the bumblebee legs. So these have been placed into position, two in the front and four out of the back. Then we will move on to the actual positioning of the wings. When we position the wings, you take the sheet gelatin and we will put this in to the body. So we will have the two large wings in the front and then we will have the two smaller wings coming down at a slight angle. Do not use any egg white or glue on these because you will make the gelatin warp. You can just open this up slightly. The final stage at this particular stage of the bumblebee is to make the small little eyes. For the eyes of the bumblebee, I will take a large number one or a small number two size piece of paste. Put a little, so as you can see this is a small number two size ball of paste. Like I did for the eyes of the monarch butterfly, I will place this onto my finger and will then gently roll back and forward to create two almost like small little separate balls of paste. Taking a little egg white, I will just brush a small amount of egg white onto this. And then lift this up and just position this onto the front of the bumblebee. This will make his eyes and I have overemphasized the eyes because these look very cute if you make them on the large size. And as you will see, once this is painted, they really will not look quite as defined as this. 
So this will give me my bumblebee. He is now going to be dried, and then after he is dried, we can then move on to the next stage, which will be the painting. For the painting of the bumblebee, I'm going to start off with some black mixed with gin, just like I did on the butterfly. Now the head is going to be painted completely black, but what I need to do is I'm going to paint two small circles on the front of the eyes here, so it almost looks like he is wearing glasses. So as you can see we have painted the eyes. Then I will then paint also with this same color the wings. Now when I paint the wings I will just touch the brush around the edge of the gelatin. And What this will do, this will then paint the black onto the gelatin giving me the design for the wing. Now this can be painted in a combination of both on the front and the back. Because of the wings overlapping each other, you can paint some on the front and some on the back of the wing. Then we will paint some, just some very fine lines onto here. So this will give you nice natural design for the wing. You would do this the same on the other wing. And then we will paint the stripes going around. So what I do is I just, using a, some black, we'll just paint off some, so this part here, this part here, and you can make some of the stripes a little wider. If you are doing several bumblebees, you can have different markings on them. And then you will just continue that same striping across the body. So really what we're doing is we're just dividing the sections up ready to move on to the final painting which is going to be done with the darker almost just straight black but because of the way the wings sit we almost have like three sections which we have to just make sure that the painting goes around now we can take some black color I'm just going to use this black color just straight from the container. This is the licorice black that I've also used for the butterfly. And as you can see, what we're now going to do is just going to paint around the eyes, but leave that little small area of black on the front. I'm just going to show you a small section of this because I have a bumblebee ready for the, taken to the next stage. But the head is going to be painted completely black. And just like the painting the monarch butterfly, when we do this, if you need to come back with some more black once it has dried a little bit, to touch up you can do. The legs will also be painted black. And I have used wire for the legs of the bumblebee. We could use um, stamens, but the stamens are not so easy to get into this um, particular body. And I found that the wire is easier to use. Of course, you would need to tell your customer that these do have wires in them. So really, these are not edible um, with having the little wires in the legs. But they really look very cute. So now we would continue with the darker color making the stripes on the bumblebee. And then where the wings meet, I just sort of almost just bring a little bit of black just sort of along the base of the wings, both sides, so you the wings sort of almost like join onto the body. 
Now this is a bumblebee that I have finished painting and as you can see once you have finished doing the basic painting this one I have painted the wire black as I explained it would depend on how you're going to use it for his little eyes for the front of the eye you're just going to take a point of a toothpick with some black on and I will put a little small little black dot in the middle there leaving a ring of yellow around the outside to make his little like eyeball once your bumblebee has been completed we would then leave him for several hours to completely dry and then once he has completely dried we can then glaze him with some of the confectioners glaze this glaze is used originally for marzipan and chocolate work and we can use this on gum paste berries like holly berries or fall berries and this is also very cute when you're doing little bugs and insects to make them shiny taking the glaze I will take the lid off of the bottle this has a little brush already in it and just going to go over the bumblebee just over the yellow part of him and over the black to make him shiny now it is very important that the black part is completely dry because if not you will get a lot of black coloring onto the brush plus also the black coloring will run but if you leave this for several hours to dry then black will completely dry and you will be able to glaze over the top of him without any problems this is going to be the little bumblebee ready to be used on your cake.